also have now Hemendra Kotari, who's the chairman of DSP BlackRock Investment Managers, joining us now. Somebody who knows Saurav Agarwal very well. Mr. Kotari, so good to have you on CNBC TV 18. Now, Saurav Agarwal has really worked with you in your firm for about 16 years. What do you have to say about his acumen as the CFO of uh, Tata Sons when he takes over and the kind of success and elevation that he has got in position? First of all, he's a very dynamic uh, person. Uh, he was quite successful in, uh, I remember very distinctly, uh, in when he was in DSP Merrill Lynch. We hired him actually in 1995, straight after his ITIM uh, stint over there. And uh, we found him uh, uh, quite dynamic, and he was promoted, in fact, as the head of uh, IT and uh, uh, related uh, um, sectors. There he was, of course, he has done quite a few deals. Then we promoted him, in fact, in 2000, uh, uh, after 2004 5, he was promoted as the head of investment banking. So I think in all these years where I was in touch with him, uh, I found him very energetic, hmm. uh, very hardworking, and uh, very insightful, uh, and giving a advice with uh, keeping in mind high integrity with the firm believed in. Uh, I think it will give uh, good his experience uh, to Tata Group, uh, his investment banking, uh, the capital market experience, uh, M&A, uh, all these things will be extremely useful when Tata is on a growth path. The head of uh, Tata is, of course, uh, Chandra, his work style, uh, he requires somebody like a young and energetic person like uh, Saurabh. I think they started knowing each other uh, when we uh, started bidding for uh, Tata Consultancy as a lead manning the issue. And uh, since then, and also they've done a couple of uh, M&A transactions together. So they knew each other since then. Mm -hmm. His experience with the Standard Chartered, I'm sure the head of banking must be good. And uh, after that, he had a, in a short period of time in uh, Birlas, yes. uh, which I understand he had done a couple of large transactions, mm -hmm. including the last one being Vodafone and Idea. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think he was the same... Uh, uh, Saurabh, who always wanting to do deals and prepare to work very hard. Mm -hmm. And uh, time was not the thing, whether working 16 hours a day or 18 hours a day. And right. I think that kind of person is required for right. a chairman. So I think uh, Chandra must have thought of it very carefully hmm. before he decided um, uh, somebody whom we knew also. All right. So Chandra and... Uh uh, sort of really go back uh, to um, sort of DSP days. That's when we ha they had worked on a deal together. But uh, Mr. Kothari, you have been an iBanker yourself, and there is a growing trend of iBankers really crossing over to corporate roles and even plump positions like the post of a CFO. How do you see this really working out? I think uh, if we are beginning a group CFO with uh, various companies under the Tata's fold, uh, to be sitting at a one place to understand the companies and the requirement of whether the funds or the various projects which they are on their hand, uh, with the past background of his investment banker, I think it will go a long way uh, to make to contribute to Tata's. All right, uh, Mr. Hemendra Kotari, thanks so much for joining us on CNBC TV 18.